Hi again, I'm Zainu Mustafa from Semiorism. Last video, I have shown you the molting process of mantis shrimp. Now, we are going to draw the morphological structure of this shrimp. The focus of this video is on the general feature of scientific drawing in biology. So, scientific illustration is extremely important in public education. It is the way idea and information is kept and a way to share it. Scientists need to have the skill, certain necessary skills to translate the scientific information from the observation, from their field work, from the, uh, from the labs, into the illustration and simple notes to be accessible and understandable that bypass difficult scientific terms and explanations. The scientific drawing are basically used in three niche areas. They have similar general rules, but might quite look different and emphasize on different aspects. In biology, the drawings are scalable from the microscopic organism to a huge whale. Of course, the way we draw is quite different. The illustration could be a morphology of outer structure. For instance, we draw a cat. Or inner structure. As we dis uh, uh, when we dissect certain animals or certain structure, for instance, the section of heart. Sometimes, the biological mechanism also could be illustrated. For instance, the, the circulation of blood. In chemistry, the scientific drawing always involves the apparatus setup and symbols. For instance, we use he uh, arrow to represent heat. Similarly, in physics, the drawing could be extended to show the dynamics and movement and even changes. So here are the general tips to have a good scientific drawing. However, these general rules are basically for exam purposes uh, and training our young scientists to have necessary skills and competence to be a great scientist in the future. Use a pencil. Pencil is the best companion for scientific drawing. One could scratch, sketch using pencil and erase if required. The second, use single line, no shading, or dot, only use dot if required. Stroke and asterisk lines are not encouraged in scientific drawing, so use single line and dots. Label the structure clearly. Avoid cursive writing. Use ruler to ensure the straight line for the labeling. The label line should not be crossed on one another. Arrow at the tip of the label are not encouraged. Naming should be on, at the tip of the label, not on top of it. Add title for your drawing. Use local name or scientific name to ease the communication and knowledge disseminations. Let's look at the drawing process. This is the morphological drawing of mantis shrimps. It starts with the sim simple stru uh, structures and go for the details. You, you can use some dotted line to emphasize on certain structures. Then, remember to label it correctly. Use a clear handwriting to show the, label, the name of the label. And remember to add on the title at the end of the the draw. So here are the structure of the stomapods. As for the teacher's notes, this scientific drawing is very important learning tool and as a diagnostic tool. Teachers can use the scientific drawing to indicate uh, the, the understanding of the students. It can be used at any level. As it started at the primary level, we start to introduce with the scientific drawing and it becomes complex as we try to draw much um, detailed morphological structure. The visual representation helps everyone to collect, process and understand information better. It requires metacognitive thinking skills such as analyzing an object, evaluating which part to include, deciding where to place elements or making judgment about size, color, and even shapes. Then, the students are more motivated and engaged with the activity. It also 
assist in the development of visual special thinking. It is hands-on and minds-on activities. So, I think that's all. See you next time. Bye!